Hello, hello again, my wonderful Virgos, and welcome to another episode of Tea and Tarot with Tanya. This is um, how they feel about you emotionally and sexually for my Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I don't own any rights to the music playing in the background, okay? This is a general read, so it may or may not resonate with you. Take what does, leave what doesn't. If during the story you feel like this is you and not your person's energy, feel free to switch it around however it fits for you, okay? One last time, Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, you guys, let's get into this tea. How does Virgo's person feel about them emotionally, Spirit? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How does Virgo's person feel about them emotionally? Two more. One more for Virgo and how their person feels about them emotionally. First card I was confront. The second card I was clarity of belief. Can we get one more card? Thank you. And this is the psychic tarot of the heart. And this is balance, okay? At the bottom of the deck we have manifest. So I do feel like your person... Is trying to manifest something here with you guys, possibly a new relationship or even possibly a relationship with you, okay? Yeah, um, I do feel like either you have some type of healing that is taking place right now or your person has been through some type of healing situation, okay? I do feel like your person has had to confront some past issues, could be some childhood traumas here. Um, they faced some shadow sides, they've dealt with some shadow work. Um, they also could feel like you've dealt with some shadow issues. And um, I put in some work here as well, Virgo, okay? But I do feel like there is some type of truth coming on. Your person wants to know the truth. They want to know what's really going on here. Um, you could have possibly pulled away from your person, Virgo. Um, not really talking to them in the shadows. Not really giving them specific answers to what's going on. And your person wants balance. They're trying to manifest something here with you. Um, I do feel like your person feels like there is... Something here between you guys, and they want to, to bring balance back and, and have a real relationship with you, Virgo, okay? One last time, Spirit. Okay, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I do want to say please like, subscribe, comment, and share. For those who have already, thank you so much. It is greatly appreciated. If you're new here, thank you for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe button. And the little bell so you know when my videos come out. Um, let's see here. What's going on with Virgo's person? How they feel about them emotionally? What's this confront spirit for Virgo's person? One more for... Thank you. Okay. So your person has done some healing. And they want to come forward and bring you some type of communication about this healing. This work they've done on themselves. Okay. This person also wants to come and bring you some type of balance here. Okay. They want to, to make things right. This could be some type of com communication coming in over the internet, um, DMs, uh, emails, text messages. But this is some type of information, some type of clarification coming in quickly. This also could be a person that wants to travel to you, um, come to where you are, okay? This could possibly be um, them wanting you to travel to them or them wanting to travel to you or them sending some type of communication to you about healing, okay? So what's this clarity of belief for my Virgos person, how they're feeling emotionally? Can I get two cards for the clarity of oh, That's too many. Two cards for clarity of belief. Okay, one more for how... That's too many still again, Spirit. Uh-oh. One more for how, thank you, Virgo person is feeling about them. Okay. So this person feels like you're guarded. Um, like they really probably can't even get in contact with you right now. Probably can't talk to you. Haven't seen you. Um, guarded about this relationship here. They want to know what's going on here. They want to know, um, are you guys going to move forward here? Or do you want to continue to build with this? This person... Um, sees a, a relationship here with you they do see the house the family the kids long-term stability here with you but they're unsure how you feel here they feel like you're still guarded blocked 
Um, and they're trying to find out what's really going on. They want to know the truth. And I do feel like they're going to come in with some type of communication to find out where you stand now, okay? Um, this could possibly be somebody that you had a family with already. And they want to come back in and, and fix this. Um, could be somebody that you dealt with in your childhood, from your childhood past, that wants to come back in and fix this, start a relationship with you, or fix a relationship with you, balance out this relationship with you. Or this could be somebody that is new that wants to come in and, and help you heal from your past. They want to bring... Um, they want to travel with you, but you're guarded. You're afraid to move forward in this new relationship here, okay? Um, unsure if this is real, you know what I'm saying? Maybe they feel like you feel like you're unsure if this is something real here. What's this balance here, spirit, for Virgo's person feeling emotionally, okay? Yeah. This person wants to come and let you know how they feel about you, Virgo. That they do find you um, very intriguing. That this person does want to offer you love. They want to come and bring you this cup of love here. They also put you on a high pedestal here. That This is reward and recognition. And this is coming to bring offer of love. They want to balance things out. So in the past, if things hadn't been equal between you guys. Or there had been some, some type of um, emotional issues going on here this person has healed and they're ready to move forward with you they want this family with you they want to come and let you know that they see you for who you are and they want to bring this love towards you okay they want to balance out the situation here if this is somebody new coming in they want to come and bring you bounce they want to come and recognize you they want to come and bring you this stable love off of this family this long-term commitment this generational wealth but they feel like you're blocked or you're going to be blocked you're not going to um Believe it's true, okay, Virgo? Let your guards down. Can I get one card for this manifest for how Virgo's person is feeling about them? Yep. They feel like you walked away and they're or they're afraid that you're gonna walk away, that you're gonna turn down this offer, that you don't want this offer, okay? Um but they want to make it right if this is somebody from your past, okay? Now, if this is somebody coming in, Spirit is saying you need to move towards this. Move, walk towards this. Walk away from the past. Leave the past hurts. Leave your past issues in the past. You have been asking for a true love, and now you have manifested this, okay? And, and move forward towards this, okay? If you're single, Virgo. Okay, so let's get into the sexual part of this. If you're under 18, it's time for you to cut this video off now, and I'll see you in another video. Um, if you have problems with sexual pictures or explicit conversations, sexual explicit conversations, it's time that we just, um, go our separate ways here and until our next video. But if not, and you want to go deeper into this tea and find out how this person feels about you sexually, let's go, you guys, okay? One more time. Okay, Spirit. This is for... My Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We want to know how they, their person is feeling about them sexually. How does Virgo's person feel about them sexually, Spirit? How does Virgo's person feel about them sexually? How does Virgo's person feel about them sexually? That's too many. How does Virgo's person feel about them sexually? How does Virgo's person feel about them sexually? Okay, you guys. So at the bottom of the tech, we have the hangman. I feel like your person could possibly be into some type of bondage here. Also, um, some type of exhibitionist liking to be out in nature. Um, as you can see, her hands are bound here, okay, tied up. Um, this person could possibly want to tie tie you up or handcuff you while they suck on your breast. Um, if you're a masculine Virgo, your feminine could possibly want to be tied up and have her breast sucked, okay? You guys, just put yourself where you fit in the picture, whether you're the masculine or the feminine energy here, okay? It doesn't matter about the sex. It, it has to go with the energy. Okay, I'm getting all these up so we can go through them. Okay, make sure you guys can see here. Okay, so the first one we have here is the magician. So I feel like your person has been working on themselves. They've been alone. Um, possibly could be uh, masturbating, 
um because he has this this wand the wand is indicative to to the phallic um this person could also feel like you're guarded or they've been guarded okay so they've just been staying to themselves they haven't um i feel like they've been thinking about you watching you probably even um looking at pictures of you and and masturbating okay masculine or feminine this person could also like for you to wear negligee, want to see you in negligee, possibly want to see you dressed up in some type of costume, possibly a fairy costume. Um, like I said, every time I get this card, I always think Game of Thrones, so I don't know why, but maybe it's the, the berries, and I don't know. Um, but some type of sexual cosplay here, okay? Your person also likes your ass or uh, your person likes their ass to be rubbed or fondled here, okay? Um, once again, they're outside in nature, po uh, possibly a um, a picnic here. Uh, but yes, it's very fiery, passionate here. This this passion, this wand, this person really is sexually attracted to you. Um, really likes your butt, or likes their butt fondled. Okay, this person here also, like I said, could possibly be watching pornos, or likes to be watched, likes to watch other people having sex. Could possibly like to watch you guys having sex. Maybe a video court recording and watching it back. Um, but this person is very passionate about you. Um, they, they, I don't feel like they're just in here for the sex, okay? I feel like it's more than that. I feel like they're, they're, um, they want to show compassion as well. That's what I was trying to get. This person could also be into, um, some type of group, um, sex here, uh, Switching partners, foursomes, threesomes, anything of that nature. Um, could possibly want to do it out by uh, some type of water here. Like I said, your person is really into nature. Um, yeah. I also feel like your person is very romantic here. They like to bring you flowers, um, gifts, read you poetry. Um, really just come in and, and, and try to romance you here, okay? Like I said, your person also is into... They like you and negligee. They like to be close to you here. And it's still outside. Your person is really into something with this outside here. Um, but like I said, it's not just sex with this person. It's about the connection here. They like to spend time with you. They like to be close to you. And once again, see? They like to be close to you. Holding you, wrapped in your arms. You holding them, wrapped in their arms. Out in nature. Buy some water. Maybe you guys are going to take a trip near some water, Okay. Um, once again, <laughs> this person likes to fondle and undress you. This person likes to watch you. They're into your ass. They really like your ass. Um, or they like their ass fondled. They like to be undressed, okay? Now, this person here is kind of feeling, like I said, they're feeling a little left out right now. Um, they do want to come towards you. They are feeling like you are guarded and blocked here, okay? Guarded and blocked. Back turned to them. But they do want to come back. They do want this. They miss you. They miss spending time with you. Um, they want to balance out this situation here. I do feel like they're, they are spying on you too. They're, they're watching you. Um, and I feel like they're watching a lot of pornos here. This person, is, at least they're not having sex with nobody else. There's nobody else, okay? Um... They're, they're having sex with themselves. They're, they're, they're either, if you guys had videos you guys made or um, they're watching a lot of videos. Could be watching, um, yeah, masturbating a lot. Watching a lot of videos. Could be watching group sex orgies. Um, yeah. And this person here, like I said, this person feels like you're, you're you're walking away from them or like like maybe you're not interested anymore but they really want to be with you as you can see she's offering her cup here this is the ten of cups this is the happy family happy home um she is letting him know okay it's okay to come back he, he's just afraid that you're going to walk away and not come back or she's afraid you're going to walk away and not come back when they're trying to make things right here trying to balance this uh relationship out trying to manifest a new beginning here okay as you see this person wants to come towards you they might like to watch you bathe watch you shower they might just like to watch you naked here okay um this person could be spying on you too like they really could be spying on you watching your social media sites um if you guys have any pictures exchange pictures they're watching your pictures they're looking at your pictures um yeah and they're masturbating to them 
But this person wants to have a family with you. All comes to the end. Whether you have, um, you could possibly have children with this person already, or this person wants to have a family, children with you, okay? This is more than just a sexual encounter here with this person. This person wants to come in and build with you. They want to be romantic with you. They like your ass. They want to, um, they like watching you. They want to, um, see you dress up. They like to be close to you. It's more hugging and kissing in these pictures than it is any actual sexual acts. I don't see any sexual acts except for the watching of, um, this couple here. So there's no sex here. This person is not even thinking of actually like intercourse. They're, they're more concerned about getting back in your good graces with you. Being close to you. Holding you. Having you hold them. Not have your back turned on them. They love your body. They love to. Yeah. They're fantasizing about having sex with you. So I don't feel like this is someone you've had sex with yet. Because nothing here is actual intercourse yet. There's no penetration in none of these pictures here. All these pictures are of holding, touching, being close. Um, yeah, except for this one here. And I feel like this is somebody watching watching orgies and videos. This is somebody um, watching a lot of pornos here, okay? Watching a lot of pornos. Fantasizing. Hoping that you don't walk away or turn your back on them when they do come back forward. Or hoping that you come back because they're missing you. Okay, Virgo. So until next time, light and love. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Um, if you would like to book a port personal or leave me a donation or tips, all the information is down below. It is all greatly appreciated. The tips and donations are greatly appreciated because this is my only source of income. And once again, until next time, love and light.